Hey, this is Lithium, aka Big Man, uh, here doing a, another uh, beat tutorial. So, in my my new studio, I, I have constructed a new lightsaber. So, uh, so starting over here, I uh, got my uh, guitar, acoustic guitar. I got a couple different guitars, but this is the one I like to keep out and play. Kind of. For you know, add licks and fills. It's pretty nice. It's pretty cheap. You know, I bought it for like a couple hundred bucks or something. I bought this stand here um, for my records. Got the PTO one for sampling uh, various assorted records. You know, like a lot of people talk about when they go digging. You know, you, you kind of um, just dig and buy a whole bunch of stuff. I like to um, actually bring the PTO one with me and listen to the record and know whether I want. It. Otherwise, you know, and you end up with like exercise with Jesus record, you know what I mean, or something funny like that, you know, it's like, big shout out to Magic Tracks, by the way, I gave him my exercise, uh, my gospel size uh, record, and he actually flipped a sample off of it, so it was pretty tight. Uh, <clears throat> you can check him out at magictracks.net. Anyway, so, uh, moving on, we got the, uh, this desk, one of these desks with the rack mount stuff, I got one of these, uh, uh, what do you call those, headphone monitors, uh, the, the M audios on the RLX mopads. These actually, I don't know exactly what they do, but it sounds better to me with them. And they were like, you know, 20 bucks or whatever. So I recommend getting them if, if you if you can. Uh, you got the Motif Rack ES, the PreSonus Eureka uh, transformer uh, slash uh, preamp, a couple of Furmans, and uh, a line level mixer. I got the the um, Apple Mac Mini, the micro cord is running all, you know, Reason and all my soft synths and stuff. The MPC-1000, of course, hasn't changed. I have FW-1884 as my interface and a uh, Bluebird microphone. It's a pretty good sounding microphone. So, uh, just a couple of changes. I'll uh, try to make a beat. What do you think? I'm going to make a beat um, on my new setup. Just kind of show you how I get down a little bit. Sometimes I sample, sometimes I just like to sample like a little piece. Like actually, this sound here was uh, off of a, I think it was like a crisp, or no, it wasn't Christmas, it was like a Halloween sounds recording. So I kind of liked it. I thought it was kind of uh, grimy sounding, so I kept it and, you know, try to make a beat into that. Into that. So I'll give, I'll give it a try here. So I'm just going to add a little, uh, so I got this kind of make it phrase. I'm going to add a little like filler, just kind of give the beat a little bit more depth to it, you know what I'm saying? So. Now the hi-hats, um, something I like to do with the hi-hats is, uh, so I have hi hats here. Is I have the same hi hat. This is the same sound, but if you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it. It's a slight uh, attack variation. So you know the attack on this is on the, in the amp down below if it's ten, for example, and this one is four. Kind of gives like a little bounce. Okay, so it's kind of starting to fill out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get a little groove to it. Next, I like to add you know the 808 and like the Grouch said. You know what I'm saying? Don't let an 808 scare you. Don't let an 808 scare you, Tara. Don't let it scare you. Yeah. From Sesame Street? No, not the Grouch from Sesame Street. <laughs> the rapper. He's a rapper. 
Sure, that's what his name is after. I'm going to turn this on the full level, 16 level. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. I want to add some vocals uh, real quick. You, you, I know Terry, you know what I mean? It's over five minutes, Terry, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> I don't want Terry to start flipping. We're around. over ten. <laughs> over ten minutes. Okay. So, uh, I'm add a little vocal part here. Bucket like a Benz. Bucket like a Benz. Bucket like a Benz. I ride a bucket like a Benz. Oh, it's like, yeah. I ride a bucket like a Benz. Okay, that's good. Okay. I ride a bucket like a... I ride a bucket like a... I ride a bucket like a... So it sounds kind of high and squirrely, if you notice, but this is kind of one way you can kind of get that down south type of flavor to your to your sound, to your sound if you just say them really fast and then high pitched and then sample them down. This is one way. There's a whole bunch of ways, but this is. A there we go. There we go. All right, so that's it. I just chopped up my you know, vocal sample for the chorus, and I got it. So the next step would be to bring it to Cubase, track it out, you know what I'm saying, and put, add the, the vocals or lyrics, lyricist vocals and mix, mix down and add your effects and compressors and uh, all that and then call it a day. So that's it. Go ahead.